What's going on guys, Multikills HD here, as most of you guys probably already know, so last week was E3 and there was a lot of new exciting games that are coming out this fall, but in between now and fall, there's a lot of time and there's a lot of games that you can currently pick up and probably enjoy some quality time playing these games until the new generation games come out. So. I'm going to be reviewing a lot of games this week, hopefully find a couple games for you that you guys enjoy your personal fits. So the EA Vault was open this weekend, and, you know, I tried some games that were out of my comfort zone. You know, I like playing shooter games, I like playing Forza, and things along those lines. But at the same time, I'm open to the new suggestions, and I'm glad I did because I found this game. So this game I'm playing today is Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Now, some of you guys are going to be familiar with this game, some of you guys are not. So Plants vs. Zombies is as simple as it sounds. It's You either pick plants, and you can be a cactus, which I'm sniping on right now. The cactus is a sniper. You can be, you know, a submachine gunner, pretty much, and run around being close range. You can run around with a shotgun. You can have, you know... RC things that you can put up in the sky and shoot people with that are plants or you can be on the zombie side and have like a mad scientist and things like that and there's a, just a lot of combinations there's RPGs there's people that can go around as healers and then there's people that just have a lot of health and take a lot of damage to take out so it fits pretty much all play styles so I started playing this game and like I said it's as simple as it sounds you're either plants or you're zombies and it's pretty much a Call of Duty shooter. I know how crazy that sounds. Looking at this game right now, it reminds me of a Call of Duty shooter. Now, I played this with a couple of my friends. Uh, you know, I played with my cousin. And we all agreed that the closest thing to Call of Duty that we've played so far, on the Xbox One at least, is Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Now, this game is so incredibly close to Call of Duty and what they were trying to mimic. But the only thing is, is this was made for younger kids. So, instead of seeing a lot of blood... This game is rated E, but if you want the Call of Duty bloody version, you know, it's rated M. That's pretty much the only difference. This was catered to younger kids, but it's still, nonetheless, a great game. So one of the things that you're going to notice about this game is it takes a lot of things from Call of Duty. Now, what, do I, what does that mean when I say it takes a lot of things from Call of Duty? The modes. There's Search and Destroy. There's Capture the Flag. There's King of the Hill. There's Griffball. If you guys are familiar with, you know, Halo. There's a ton of things on this game that remind me from other games. There's Team Deathmatch. There's pretty much King of the Hill. Like I said, you can do whatever you want on this game, as is you're pretty much playing Call of Duty. All the same modes from Call of Duty are on this game, I promise you. There's a Search and Destroy, even. There's so many different modes on this game that mimic Call of Duty. There's the Snipers, there's the Shotguns. There's, if you get a headshot, it counts as more points. Things along those lines. And then there's, like, you know, C4s that you can put down on the ground and explode. There's landmines that you can put down. There's barricades that you can put down if you want to sit behind and snipe, for example. And then, like, this game that I'm playing right now is called Domination. Shockingly. Domination. Where would you ever get that idea from, right? But, surprisingly enough, I thought I was going to dislike this game. This game is absolutely amazing, and it's very, very cheap, surprisingly. I picked this up on Origin the other day for my PC, because my girlfriend was playing it with me, and we decided, you know, let's see how much the game was. This game is only like 10 bucks for the deluxe version on the PC, or if you're buying this on right now, during the EA Vault sale, you can get a season pass for the Vault for $5 a month, and you can play all of EA's games, which is a really great deal. You don't own them, but you can pretty much rent them like a Netflix subscription. Or if you just want to play it, you know, flat out, you can get this game for, I believe, like $14 on Xbox One right now. It's an amazing deal. This game is great. I'm not getting paid to say any of this, guys. I'm just trying to find some games as if, you know, a person that enjoys really good games but also understanding the point that I'm going to have to wait, you know, three to four months before most of my games I looked at E3 that looks so, so amazing for those to even come out. So, like I said, if you guys are looking for games, I'm going to make some game reviews this week. I'm going to be trying my best to find some games that everybody can enjoy, whether you guys be younger or older and you guys want some more mature games such as Battlefield 4 I'm reviewing later this week, you know, I'm just open to suggestions on games that you guys want me to review. But for Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, the only con I have about this game is it tends to get a little bit boring after you keep repetitively, you know, doing the same thing over and over and over again. But, you know, that's pretty much Call of Duty in a nutshell. 
But overall, I'm going to go ahead and rate this game a 9 out of 10. I think it's actually a very great game, especially if, you know, you put the time into it and get really good. You know, I thought this game was just going to be a joke when I downloaded it, but I found out after I started playing it, it's really actually really fun. And the best part is, you don't have to really be any age to play this game. Younger kids can play this game, you know, I know some of you guys out there have, have kids, and this would probably be a pretty good birthday present for them, to be honest. You know, like I said, this game isn't gory or anything along those lines. The only bad thing is it gets boring after you keep playing it over and over again. I'd say probably two days game time, and you're probably going to be pretty bored of this game. But anyways, guys, go ahead and leave me some comments in the comment section below. If you played this game, what do you guys think about this game? If you guys have ever played it. But until next time, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name, of course, is Multikills HD. I hope you guys enjoyed this new series I'm going to be trying, reviewing some new games that maybe you might go ahead and give it a little bit of a try for and see how you guys will like them, or maybe you guys might not like them. But anyways, these are pretty much just to make sure that you guys can find a game to hold you over. But until next time, guys, I'm Multikills HD. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys could, please hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, Multikills HD, and I'm out.